Todd. Todd, you're an investor in Lipstick Sisters. Why is it important? Why did you get involved? Well, I haven't invested yet, okay. but... Uh, okay, a minute ago he told me he was an investor. Uh, optimistic thinking, that's great. No, so I'm looking at Lipstick okay. Sisters. Um, you know, I've been very impressed with their, their model so far and how it's spreading virally uh, to, quite frankly, a need for women. And what so far do you like, and what would make you actually commit to <laughs> being a shark, like you called it? You know, you know, I, I really invest in leadership, so I'm very impressed with the leadership team. And and when I invest in companies and look at companies, it's it's all about management. So um, very impressed with what what they've been able to do on, quite frankly, very few dollars and the traction they're getting. I love what they're doing. What can we expect from Lipstick Sister in the future? Coming up. Well, right now the idea is sort of, uh, if you look at it in the cookie cutter kind of pattern, is that because it's worked so well in LA, the way that it worked in LA, it worked in Orange County, and it worked in DC, and it worked in New York, and it worked in San Diego. So what we're trying to do now is all the women that are re reaching out nationally is to kind of bring them in and then really spend at least three or four days teaching them, you know, who we are, what we're looking for, why it works. Because ultimately, it can be one of those things where like, you just go home and you, you do your own thing. Um, there's a reason why it works. So it's really training the people that reach out into what we're looking for and then basically giving them the tools, you know, a handbook and everything for them to go back and then recreate what we've done in the past you know, four years. And also a continually, like a coaching platform where they have the support. Because, you know, for me, being a leader in, D uh, in D.C., I have a support in L.A. So it and it's and it's you know a constant conversation and it's moving things forward, opposed to staying in a in a stagnant position. So that's and what I think is the most interesting is you did fly out here from D.C. So it's not you don't have to just be in D.C. You have sisters now all over the country. And, and, no. and we would love to, for it to be global. The beauty of it too is that we created the schedule, especially for the women that have their own business, their own brand. Um, they stay at home moms, you know, etc. We created it in the way that everybody really can commit to the lunches and that the girls know that it's the same schedule for every branch. And so if I'm traveling the last weekend of the month, I know that there's a lunch in that city and I know that I can just show up. Why? Because I'm a lipstick sister and even though they haven't met me, they've never heard of me, all I need to do is be like, hey guys, I'm here, I'm coming to lunch and I have 50, 80 girls that are like, awesome, I'm like, hey, good to see you, you know, so... That's why everything was created, so that it feels like everywhere, everywhere you go, you have a home. That's the you idea of it. I do feel like yeah. a family. When I came in two years ago, I could not believe the the reaching out, the do you need a place to stay, how about a ride from the airport. I mean, I was like, these women don't even know me. The hugs, the yeah. like love. We it's don't like, shake hands, we hug. <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> not incredible. <laughs> and it really causes you to be that. Love. Sisterhood. It really is sisterhood. Well, I love, love the idea. So, <laughs> I think so. The future is now. <laughs>